There are two ways to make cauliflower rice in a food processor, and those are my favorites because it's super fast. The third method I'm going to show you is manual, but also really easy. I love cauliflower rice because it's easy, but it's most important, it's super fast to cook. So let's first prep the cauliflower by splitting the head in half, then slicing out the core and getting the green leaves out of the way. The easiest way is with a food processor. And this first method turns a whole head of cauliflower into fluffy rice granules in minutes. So we break the large pieces into golf ball sized florets. And the florets we throw inside of the food processor, fit it with the blade attachment and pulse in three second bursts. You do this until the cauliflower breaks down into a fluffy rice-like texture. And just like that, you have riced cauliflower. The only drawback of this method is that your rice is not always even in texture and you get some larger pieces throughout. Before I show you how I hack my food processor to give me a consistent rice texture, I'm going to show you the next method. And guess what? You can still make this miracle rice with a cheese grater. For this method, I make sure to chop the cauliflower into larger wedges, which makes grating it a little easier. Using the side with the largest holes, we're just gonna grate the cauliflower. It will create a finer couscous-like texture, but it does the trick. And it's even. Now that you have a whole batch of fresh cauliflower rice, let's go over the best ways to store it before I share the final cauliflower. I prefer to keep mine in a resealable zip bag, which I'm going to line with a paper towel to absorb the moisture. You can fill it with rice, push the air out, and refrigerate it for up to three days. And yes, you can also freeze it. I only like to freeze it in two or four cup measurements, just enough for two or four servings. All right, the final cauliflower rice method is my favorite. It combines the speed of the first method with the evenness of the manual cheese grater. This is because my food processor has a cheese grater attachment. Yeah, you know, it's probably hiding in the back of your cabinet too. So let's put the grater attachment inside of the food processor and now we close the lid. We turn it on and we insert the cauliflower florets in the top and through the cheese grater, it goes. See, just like the manual cheese grater, but faster. I'm also going to link some recipes with cauliflower rice right below this video to help you get started, like cauliflower shrimp fried rice and my low carb jambalaya. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button. It's free and I'll send you a helpful new video every single week.